Hey, 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 hi everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying a lovely day. In this fine tutorial, I'm gonna show you on how to set up XR Animator so you can send the tracking data to Wadudo so that way you can have much more enhanced webcam tracking, whether for full body or upper body only for VTubing purposes. So let's go ahead and get started. So open up your Wadudo and then make sure you download XR Amir. I'll leave the uh, download for XR Amir in the description below, as well as the creator's Twitter in case you have any tech issues that you may need help with because the developer is very active and they are happy to help you out with XR Animator. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the program and you will be greeted with this blue button. So once you make sure you see that in order to load your custom model, you're going to go ahead, you know, open up your file explorer, find your VRM file and simply click and drag it over the start button like so. Now I do want to give a quick advice since this was an issue I experienced during recording is that if your model is very badly unoptimized like my main model please keep in mind you may experience some very bad lagging issues so please make sure that before you ever start doing some streaming make sure that XR Amer has a very optimized model loaded so that way you don't have any lag issues or just simply stick with the default model if you're unsure whether your model is optimized or not but for void models usually you're optimized usually but you're going to go ahead and click on start and give it some time for it to process your model loading. And once your model, you know, eventually gets loaded up, you will then of course be greeted with the welcome to XR animator little thing. And of course, XR animator will then cycle to different advice on how you can use it. So definitely quickly read if you can, but I will again, go through the controls a little bit with you. So you're going to go ahead and use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out like this. So down lets you zoom in and scrolling up lets you zoom uh, out. If you want to, um, you could try like, you know, holding the right click if you want to like move the extra air window if needed. It may be a little bit trial and error, it's a little finicky. Uh, and then you can hold the control button on your keyboard and left click in order to pan. That way you can, you know, like move the character so that way it's a bit more aligned with what you want to see. And if you need to rotate, you can hold the left click and just, you know, rotate. Although the rotation, to be honest, is a little janky in my opinion. But once you get the hang of it, uh, you know, try you like moving your mouse to the different sides. It might help you out a little bit, but I usually try not to rotate too much. Uh, again, I'm still learning extra a bit, but either way, what you're going to then do once your character is, you know, like properly aligned, you're going to then go over to webcam media right here and double click on that. What you're going to then do is you're going to click on yes, and then you're going to find the web camera of choice. And of course, yes, it's going to reset the camera um, angle there, unfortunately, but that's fine. Again, I did want to show you the camera control so that way you're familiar with it, but we're going to click on USB camera. And then once you have this message up here that appears, your camera should have been loaded or if you have a different light or something on your camera, at least you'll know it works. For my case, it has a green light now, so it's all good. And then what you're going to do is click on motion capture, double click here. And depending on what you're trying to do with your tracking will depend on your thing. For example, if you just want only the face tracking, from XR Animator, then you can click on face only. You know, have no webcam hand tracking at all. Uh, especially this is useful if XR Animator is going to be your sole VTuber program. But again, we're talking about XR Animator to Wadudo. Body only is if you just want to have your, you know, your hands, like your arms can be able to move around, but there's no like finger tracking or anything like that. Especially useful if you're going to do XR Animator with stretch sense glove or. XR anime with sleep motion, depending on what you're trying to do. Uh, so no finger tracking, but over here, you can then add your hands and this includes finger tracking with your, you know, arm, like, like your arms will be able to move around and then face and body being that you have face and body tracking good for upper body 
tracking with webcam face tracking and then full body there's two versions media pipe vision here is the newest one if you're going to do some full body tracking stuff with your setup so you know depending on what you're trying to go for you would have to be your best judgment for this one will determine what things you're going to go for but i best recommend to experiment you can of course be able to revert by simply again double clicking again here and just changing your settings and you can also go to mocap options if you like and you know do some more advanced editing here but since there's a lot of things to go through i'm not going to go through that in this tutorial i don't want to make this tutorial too long um at least for you know i just, I just want, don't want to like overwhelm me too much with information so for my case, I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the body and hands because I want to have it where my iPhone is tracking my face, but everything else is tracked by XR animator. So I'm going to go ahead and click on body and hands and then give it some time for it to load. I'm going to go ahead and, oh yeah, there you go. Your character should be loaded or test chance loaded. Uh, give it some time, uh, for it to process. And once it's done processing, you know, make sure also when XR, XR Animator is loaded that you keep a neutral face and make sure that you're, you know, sitting straight, like looking towards the camera or just looking straight IRL, you know, neutral position so that way your calibration is decent. And then you just raise your hands and you're able to do some tracking. Again, like I said, if you do experience any lagging issues, you may want to swap out the model. Again, Test Chan is, you know, she's publicly available so you can download this model if you want to use this model uh you know for your setup or anything like that you know but as you can see hand tracking pretty nice right so in order for us to send this tracking data over to Wadudo, we're going to then go to vmc so double click on vmc here and please keep in mind of the port number especially if you are using different tracking solutions that use the same port number you may want to change it but for now for our, our case we don't have to change it but again up to you and we're going to go ahead and enable vmc protocol by clicking on this button right here so click on on and then after that, in just a side note, if you want to send camera VMC data, you can enable it. But again, I'm not going to go through, um, over the camera stuff because this tutorial is about how to do an XR mirror. So I'm going to click on done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the Wadudo editor, go to onboarding assistant and go ahead and get started. Make sure that your model of choice is selected and click on OK. Make sure to click on no, I know what I'm going to use, so that way you can be specific on what you want. For my face tracking, I want this to be eye facial mocap. So I'm going to click on customize face tracking, so that way there's no head or body movements at all. But again, this is up to you. If you are going to be using XR Animator for the face tracking instead, you're going to, well, not over here, uh, I'll click on OK. But if you are going to be using XR Animator instead, then make sure it's set to VMC instead. So just set VMC up and then that way it will detect XR Animator's face tracking. Otherwise, if you're doing what I'm doing, which is iPhone for the face tracking, but XR Animator as the body, then I set it up like this. Post tracking is going to be set to VMC and then I can customize the post tracking and again if I have to change the port number I can change it over here if needed and I also need to make sure that for XR Animator by clicking the VMC button make sure that the port numbers are the exact same. If they are different then you're going to run into some issues. Keep that in mind. But once you have that I'm going to click on OK. If you are using Stretch Sense Gloves or Leap Motion or something else then you'll specify it here. But otherwise though, uh, for the most part, you you know, for XR Animator to have the finger tracking detected, you don't have to set this up. This is more of like if you want to override it. But otherwise, this will already do the finger tracking for XR Animator. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. Now, it's going to take some time to process. And then, uh, if you want to import expressions, you can. I'm just going to say no for now. And then I'm going to... Keep the current background but you can set up how you want it and click OK and there you go and from there I'm able to have extra animators hand tracking with my iPhone and that's pretty much how you do it and you're able to have some really nice hand tracking you know webcam hand tracking 
for your setup so it's really nice and again it will take some muscle memory so in case you're struggling on like oh your hands fall off a lot or something like that um i definitely recommend practicing your muscle memory on your web camera range so you'll have to develop that memory by practicing like puppeteering your hands and all that but of course also you may want to change the angle of your camera so that way you know depending on what you're trying to go for it you know hopefully like adjusting your camera also adjusting your lighting as well can definitely help it can definitely help a lot when it comes to your tracking quality again it's not going to be perfect like for example i can't like move my hands super fast with xr amir as you can see I, I i can't do it perfectly it's doing its best though but it's not gonna be like my irl hands crazy fast or natural but even then though you know you can like i did mention uh you can adjust your mocap options here if needed you know a lot of experimenting that's all i can tell you i also want to mention this as well is that when it comes to Warudo's setup, by default, is going to add some smoothness uh, to your tracking. If you want to disable the smoothness, make sure you click on the blueprint of choice. So post tracking here. You're going to have to, you know, hold left click to pan, scroll wheel, and then find the smoothing nodes right here. And you can set the value here. So if I want to turn off the smoothness rotation, you can turn it off there. And same with position as well if you just don't want any smoothness at all. Since XR Amir pretty much already adds smoothness to their tracking. So you don't want to add too much smoothness. And same thing with your face tracking as well. Again, if there's a face tracking uh, blueprint. Then again, you just left click find the node that looks similar to this. And then just set it to zero. And that's how you can be able to turn off or even add more smoothness if needed. So hope that helps. But either way, that's pretty much how you can do XR Amir in Wadudo. I hope you learned something new, and I hope that this tutorial helped you out. And, well, with that being said, though, I hope you have a lovely day, and I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye-bye! Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone! I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye!